Hey, it's Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart. TX, Texas Straight Bourbon Whiskey. We're going to test it! Texas, baby. Single star. From Fort Worth, Texas style. Who knows if they're going to ever leave the Republic. <laughs> <laughs> This kid, I got a Texas, but he's always like, you know, we don't need the other 49. I'm like, why do you say that? Why do you say that? Because we're Texas. He's very proud. So Texas whiskey has its own trail. And it, huh. and it's like everything else in Texas is big. It takes like a month to get through the Texas whiskey trail. Not really. It's like four days. But uh, Texas is huge as a state. So is this Texas whiskey or is it TX whiskey? I still think it's Texas. I bet you they, they when you see TX, it's kind of like when you see that single lone star, you just know that's Texas, baby. Yeah. But you, what do they call themselves? Is it Texas whiskey or is it know. TX? I whiskey? bet you if you walked in, they were not saying, hey, we're TX. They're saying we're Texas, baby. That's what I'm guessing. Look at that. You had a hard time getting it off there? Little, I didn't know if it's screwed Get or man gripper going. Yep. Had a little beard oil on my hand oh, there. Oh, beard oil. Got it. A little okay. slickery. Slippery. 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 Goodness. Oh, that's good. That's good. You don't need to go So, crazy. this is Texas straight oh, bourbon whiskey. Nice. Scotch trooper glass. Nice uh, topper on it. It's that heavy, is good. A little heavy duty. Maybe it's got the synthetic cork instead of the real cork. I actually like that. Holds up better. They don't crack. Texas straight bourbon whiskey. 45% alcohol. That'd be 90 proof. Mm, nice. Mm. Good. Good way to double the number. <laughs> Firestone and Robertson Distilling Company. Oh, out of Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Got it. Okay. Anything else on there? Uh, there's some other little words and writing and stuff. <laughs> ah, some other little stuff words. Stuff that we don't. We don't get in there. We don't do the research. So you have to. Huh? Love it. Scott coined that phrase. It's beautiful. Huh. Um, so, sometimes we get accused of saying typical bourbon notes. But I also get a little bit of pepper in there. I get a little peppery rye. Bourbon notes meaning caramel, maybe a touch of cinnamon, uh, and that sweet corn. This glass was clean, I know it, because I checked yep, it. But it, it just it reminded me of Macallan 12 on the nose, like a sherried scotch. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, I, was, I was made a little face there. I was like, Yeah, Ooh. I saw you did something there, and I thought maybe it's because it said bourbon notes. Spicy. Um, but more kitchen spice. I, don't, I think you said pepper. Yeah, I get a little I bit say of more, black pepper. More kitchen spice. There's a little bit of the Texas cumin? just got me. You get a little cumin? Mm. Making that up. Paprika? <laughs> Paprika? <laughs> Paprika. You got it right. Um, Time? <laughs> and now I'm just going to say spices. <laughs> Maybe my nose is a little off today, but I don't get necessarily a lot of those bourbon notes that you just said, okay. kind of typical bourbon notes. It tastes, or it smells very dry, which is a weird thing to say a smell is, but I get a dry smell, almost like if you walked into a, uh, a barn, um, kind of like how a barn will smell dry and dusty again. Uh, this is the beauty of nosing and tasting whiskey, is that your smells sometimes <laughs> don't relate to things necessarily you would connect. Dry, dusty barn uh, with a, um, a sweet corn. I still get a little bit of pepper. I don't know if I'm getting the cinnamon now. But I still pick up rye. I pick up a good rye in there, which is what I think that pepper smell is for me. Palette, astringent up, up front. Moves into those bourbon notes, Texas fingerprint all over this one. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah. Not not strong, not strong Texas, not a lot of sage brush. Mm. A little bit of that sage mm -hmm. note showing. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's interesting. A touch of the sage brush <clears throat> with it's it's got a sweet finish. Mmm. That sweet kettle corn is all over the finish there. Mm hmm. Hmm. Hey, I'm impressed by the palate on this. Sweet. Maybe I had lower expectations. Hmm. But no, it's nice. It's rich. It is bourbon. There's corn, dry corn. Um, 
not necessarily getting any rye notes or anything. I think this was a high rye, more caramely, more. sweeter Texas. When we bourbon. say Texas, we kind of get what kind of tastes like a, a sagebrush wildfire, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, to me, not it's, wildfire. To me, it's a sagebrush. That wildfire. was the brimstone had the wildfire. Oh, maybe, maybe so. Wild, wild but a sagebrush fire. that's burning. Wildfire. A burning tumble. Wow. Are you the fireman? <laughs> no, I'm the fireman. <laughs> no, very nice palate. Nose. Um, it's still, maybe my nose is a little off today. Still don't get that much on the nose. It still feels, I don't necessarily get bourbon notes on the nose still. Long finish here. Yeah. It's a little bit dry and astringent on the finish, mm -hmm. but that corn really stays around, lingers. Picking up that dry corn. Mm, almost like a uh, cornbread when you uh, have a not too sweet cornbread that kind of lingers with those corn flavors. It's kind of what I'm getting here. With ham and beans on it, some mm -hmm. onion and Tabasco. No, just the cornbread. No. Well, that's what, yeah. I, I like putting it. honey and butter. I like butter. cornbread I like, and ham yeah, and beans on it. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I like putting honey and, and, uh, and uh, what did I just say there? Butter. Butter. You layer it with butter, butter. get it warm, or and put honey all over it. It's, it's like a feast treat. It's like a treasty feast. Treasty feast. That even makes sense. <laughs> uh, mm. Nice palate. I mean, there's nothing, I mean, it's not, nothing really jumping out at you. Nothing really saying, hey, you look at me, but a good, better than expected uh, bourbon. I think this is their kind of entry uh, bottle, entry level bottle. The Tea. finish is what holds me in. I don't get a lot of <clears throat> saying hello look at me on the front but i like the finish here it's as a sipper cinnamon. i added some water i think i get a little cinnamon now that i've added the water i'm not sure i kind of smelled it at first but you want more water mm -hmm. oh. didn't give you enough i know your drop of water is literally a drop <laughs> sometimes you need a little more <laughs> I've had it worse criticisms. Your drop of water is literally a drop. Thank you. Maybe it's the astringency. It almost feels Texas okay. single maltish. Yeah, I'm not. I would not disagree with you there. It has a little bit of what that uh, that floral sense that I'll get from um, from the malt, from the malted barley, and maybe that's a little bit of what's interesting here. I wouldn't be surprised if they've included in their mash bill, you know, eight, eight percent barley. It's pretty specific. I, it is. I'm saying eight even. Eight. I was going to say ten, but it doesn't might feel be, like ten. Might be eight and a half. And it could be eight point two five. But I definitely feel like I'm, I'm somehow picking up a little bit of malted barley here on their mash bill. I'll give you 20 bucks if there's 8% <laughs> malted barley in that. Somebody, yeah, there you go. He's good for it. If somebody finds out what the mash bill is and there's 8% malted barley, give me uh, a point either way, up or down. Seven to nine. Obviously nine, because that would be more than the eight. Would you be willing to give me the point down at seven? No, just eight. Oh, come just on, eight. man. That's rigid. Just eight. Because <laughs> you were so specific with it. True. Eight. Eight. Okay. Somebody let me know the mash bill. Why? Because um, we don't do the research. So you, you have to. to. Um, <laughs> I like it. It's I got a good ocean. palate. Now, so when you crack a bottle, now, and, and you've had a couple out of this. I mm -hmm. haven't had this one yet. And you're thinking, okay, you know, straight bourbon or Texas straight bourbon. You mm -hmm. kind of have expectations you do. of what you're, what to expect was coming. Right. This is better Breaking than expectations. what I expected. Yeah, breaks expectations. There is, there's a very nice palate here. It's rich. It's sweet. Hmm. Um, that hint of, in fact, is since I got the hint of Texas on the first, I haven't gotten it since. Um, hmm. It jumped out at me at first, not necessarily now. <laughs> For some reason, it does feel like. If there's rye in this, there's it's very it's low. Mm -hmm. I think I think you're right. There is a per percentage of malted barley in mm. here. Um, How much percent? I you I, can't I, be. No, I don't even know. I don't even know. Specific as me. No, 
<laughs> it does say it's got a one of a kind that's all in bold yeast that they captured and skillfully cultivated. So it could be their yeast is what's changing this up. Mm -hmm. If it is, it definitely is a one like of a kind. Um, I'm ready to score it. Okay, hold on. Okay, wow. It does list dark fruit, sweet spice, and caramel, which are what we kind of call the, maybe not the fruit, but the bourbon notes. Um, I'm going to score it prior to you. Um, it is different, but I'm not sure that's jumping it up on the score for me, but I like it. I would drink it as a sipper, 87. Hmm. I was going 86. Okay, wow. One below or way yeah. off. So no, no yeah, I like right the bar. What I'm picking up as this malted barley notes, I like, and I think that pepper touch I got is part of the rye mash bill. Mm -hmm. So I am very curious if you know or find out, please put in the comments what the mash bill is. This, on this this has been in our area for a while. We, I mean, there's a lot of whiskeys out there we hadn't picked this up. Someone mm -hmm. had just recommended or just asked it, hey, will you guys review the, mm -hmm. the TX? I'm going to call it TX because it's I'm TX. I'm calling it the Texas. <laughs> Would you review the TX bourbon? And, and we're like, it's on the shelf. Um, so I saw it on the shelf there, so let, yeah. let's try it. I'm starting now at an 80. Yeah, and I think well, this me would. Too. You convinced me. You're by starting at. You mean your scoring scale? Yeah, yeah. That an average just a bottle sitting there unopened bottle, is going to start at an eighty. It's it either going right. to do better. And there's not too worse. many whiskeys that drop below an eighty because no. whiskey's at a pretty good science right yeah. now. They know what they're doing. Yeah, you would have to put out some trash to go like sixty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> be trash. I think because there is, and if this was just, if this was a good bourbon, 85, I'm, I gave it just a notch up to an 86, just because there, there's a little bit something extra in there with it, a little bit better. Um, you know what that is? 8% malted barley. It could be 8, 8.5% malted barley. Eight. Ain't no point. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. And this is, okay, so I want to say I've seen this. This is like 35, maybe $40 mm. price range, maybe mm. $30, somewhere in there. Um, that's perfect. Yeah. Um, that's a one good thing we've been saying lately, and we we're even talking to a bunch of our friends saying that you can get great bourbons um, for mm -hmm. 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, there's, that's the nice thing. There's so many bourbons out there. You can get a really good bourbon for 30 bucks. So you don't need to go crazy. Um, you know, we, we try everything, but um, that, uh, that is definitely tasty. I, I do like it. You're right. I like the top. Too. It's got a little leather touch yeah. point on it. I do like it with a drop of water, too. It's really, it's got a nice palate. I like it. Got it. So, uh, you can go to Patreon. You can help support the show. It's how we buy these bottles and how we keep the lights on. You can do as little as a dollar a month, dollar a show. We will dollar shout your name. Yeah. Well, we'll shout your name with vigor. You might as well go to $2 a show if you want that vigorous shout of your name. Who doesn't want their name shouted vigorously? Go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up our merchandise, coins, hats, shirts, glasses, stage with sets. stuff, burn on it. Helps and, keep the and, lights on and yeah, buy We love the dropper. I, I thought it was fancy dancy at first, but we use it all the time. Scotch it, you scotch gods. It's launch it. Dummies. Almost wasn't sure on the catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs>